Undergraduate research at BYU is unique. Most universities are focused on graduate research. At BYU, we've tried to move that model down to the undergraduate level. As undergraduates, they can work with a faculty member on a project, often of their choice, and those range from um, almost anything all throughout the sciences. These aren't synthetic environments that we set up so that students can play in a nice, safe area and get nice, safe results that they can feel good about. You gotta be very creative. You gotta be constantly thinking, how am I gonna solve this? Your professor doesn't always know, you know, what's, how to solve the problem. The professor expects you to be able to do your work without him holding your hand every step of the way. I think it's helped me to mature a little bit, to learn that I have to take accountability for what I'm doing. We expect undergraduates to make significant contributions to real problems. And by and large, they step up to that challenge and perform quite well. And that often allows them to go present papers at, at major conferences. I've had students publish papers in top tier journals that they worked on as undergraduates. And that's something that most of my colleagues at other universities thinks, think is an impossible uh, impossibility. It's also helping us to connect. Um, we get to interact on the mentored project that I've been doing. We've been working with um, a professor up in Idaho and with other projects we've met professors throughout the country and sometimes even internationally. Rather than being the exception to the rule, we expect confident, credible undergraduate research to almost be the norm. And that sets them up for either graduate school or a job. Uh, it's a significant experience that provides a good foundation for what comes next. So I do really appreciate the fact that BYU has this mentored research opportunity, that there's funding to back this up, because not only does it allow me to, you know, instead of doing some simple part-time job that doesn't apply to the future career that, I, that I'm seeking out, it allows me to do something meaningful. Funding allows students to uh, to spend tw 10, 20 hours a week on, on research which allows them to make more progress and, and it provides a larger payoff in terms of the student and then the reputation of the department and, uh, and the college and the university in the end. The undergraduate students that I mentor, um, I make sure to explain that to them that somebody is funding this work and that somebody isn't just donating money, that somebody is making an investment. It makes it a little bit more official, so you don't really, you don't want to waste your time because you know, someone is generously donating money for this cause, you know, and so you want to do the best work you can, you want to work hard, you want to make sure you're doing things right. And that definitely makes me work harder when I'm putting in my research hours. I mean, I don't want to feel like these people are having their money wasted. That attitude has helped me to really uh, focus and helped me to really come up with some of the most interesting results as well. It's really helped me to gain a broader perspective of what real world work is like. I am convinced that it is such a good environment and it produces not only good students, and it's a good student environment, but it produces the kind of, of professional, technically trained and properly motivated individuals into the work environment. Over the years we got to really appreciate how much, um, especially from an undergraduate point of view, that uh, Brigham Young provides to the community and, and to the future of our nation and, and our world. I think it's important as people become established in their careers that they give back to the university. Um, so much of what helped to set my direction in life came through um, sponsored research projects at the university and people who spent their time to mentor me and help me. And giving back and being a part of the university just brings back some of those fond memories that I've had in the past. A person can start giving back to the university the day they walk out the door. We started out small and then we enjoyed the association, things grew and then we did more and more as, as we were able. Yeah, and it doesn't have to be necessarily in money, but uh, time, involvement, yes. commitment. Um, we've really enjoyed the associations and it, it's been a great journey for us. So it's a great opportunity from the get-go to, to make a real meaningful contribution back to the school that provided so much.